What's good, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Chrissy Talks. Y'all can call me Chrissy, and let's go ahead and talk about this taste. So I'm pretty sure you guys seen last night that Diera's old makeup artist actually came out and exposed her, alleging that she is with her current ex-girlfriend. And I'm sure you guys know her ex-girlfriend is actually the woman with the blue dreads that had been rumored to be Diera's new boo for the past couple of months. So before I talk about what happened last night, we're gonna talk about the whole story and see where this actually started from. So this is Diera, and on the left of her is her trainer, Kay and on the right of her is Kayla's sister, Jazzy. Kayla actually met Kayla in her complex and it was Jazzy who was the one who hyped Kayla up to go talk to Diera and volunteer to be her trainer. I'm introducing everybody and I'm telling y'all how Kayla and I met. Kayla here everybody is my trainer slash forever friend slash Aww. home owner friend because I gotta keep that house but I ain't give it yet but yeah. I'm gonna keep it. I ain't gotta worry about that shit. How y'all meet? This is my building at one point. Okay. The girl was stalking me man. Really? <laughs> But hey, blowing your DMs up, right? Girl, girl, DM me like 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> so I ain't answered her DM or nothing like that. I met her in person. Yeah. And Jazzy over here, her sister. Had to hype her up. Had to hype her up and come talk to me because I'm very unapproachable. <laughs> <laughs> so I DM Kayla back and boom, now you're gonna look good as fuck. Yeah. Now, after meeting Kayla and her sister Jazzy, eventually Diera would cross paths with Jazzy's girlfriend, Arielle, and they got close, and Arielle would later then be her makeup artist and friend. All right, so now that we got the introductions out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the timeline. Keep in mind that Diera and Kenna called it quits back in August, but of course, we don't really know when they officially caused it off, but I'm pretty sure they were single before they announced it to the world. Diera went on a business trip to Miami with her trainer Kayla as they were advertising some expensive ass detox juices and Jazzy was with them as well. This happened back in May around the time that cheating allegations arose again between Ken and Diera when Ken was on Twitch and he seemed to be a little flirtatious with some callers. The video is gonna be up here if you guys wanna see that. But she never really responded to that. Ken did come out with an apology, but while that was going on and people wanted to know her thoughts on it and if they were still together, Diera went ahead and was living her best life in Miami with her trainer Kayla and Kayla's sister Jazzy. Now during this time, Jazzy's probably ex-girlfriend at this point was in Atlanta and she was posting a series of photos on her story that got people thinking that maybe she's feeling a type of way. And she said, what I love, I love hard. Then put out multiple middle fingers that I hate everyone put up a video of rolling her eyes and said, I'm not even sorry for how I'm about to start acting. I've been nice too long. So if you guys seen her post last night, she also said, I'm done being nice or I've been nice for too long. So she's been holding some shit in for months and people have been speculating this. Like I said, Diera, Kayla, and Jazzy were in Miami for a business trip back in May. May, that's when Jazzy's ex, Arielle, posted those posts. Now in the next month in June, Arielle actually went on live and people were spamming her comments with questions about Diera and she didn't really respond directly to them, at least in the clips that I have. She was talking about pulling up on somebody and saying that she was about it. And she also was talking about somebody who was subbing her and was telling them to keep on talking because she was gonna pull up. Yeah, I just came on here to say, bitches better stop playing with me because we do, we will stop pull up. Me. That part, please. Bitches better stop playing with me. They trying to bring that new other side of me, and I'm trying to keep it in. They want me to act crazy. Just keep talking. And I'm keep talking. I'm making so much shit. What you should? Especially when I'm just Let them keep talking. Let them keep running their mouth. Let them keep going subs. One thing about me, my pull up game is strong. One day, sweetheart. Now around that time, Diera made tweets such as, you don't have real friends if you have to vent on social media about your problems. Only in competition with myself. And then she said, confused, keep it that way. Around that time, Arielle posted this story saying, one thing I'm not doing is shit for clout. You hoes need to stay humble. Bitches really think they Beyonce. Bitch, have a seat, you a knockoff. Now I really do think she was definitely talking about Diera, especially with the Beyonce part, but you know. 
<laughs> that ain't none of my business. In September, that's when the whole hickey incident occurred. And this would happen one month after Dara can officially called it quits. And that's when Dara was seen with the hickeys, which I don't know, child. At this point, I'm about to assume did come from Jazzy, and she didn't give a fuck at this point because she was no longer with Ken. And December is where you had the truth or drink video, and this is when Dara was asked, "Are you with the girl with the dress? Is she your girlfriend?" Is it true the girl with the dress is your girlfriend? No, that's false. No, she's not my girlfriend. No. And I'm being really honest with y'all. Like, I ain't gotta lie about nothing. So, no, that's a lie. Fix. Is it true you talking to someone new? <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that you would date a girl? Or you could drink? It's up to you. It don't matter if we're being truthfully honest. Now, we already know that Diera is extremely business oriented, so I feel like when she was asked, is she your girlfriend, she said no. I ain't gonna lie, she's not my girlfriend, but you know, she's this girl I'm fucking like low key or this girl that I'm talking to. I feel like she was being very technical, it's like you didn't really lie, but you know, you're low key lying. Allegedly. And just one week after this video, people noticed that in Diera's home, there's a PS5 with headsets plugged in. And back then I was like, and honestly, I'm the type that needs a little bit more to make a whole video off of. But like now it's making sense. Now it's adding up. And I mean, it's not like Diera couldn't have a PlayStation 5, you know, but like. We never really seen her to be a gamer type of person. Now, fast forward to last night, this is where we're at the part where Arielle made her post and she officially name dropped and exposed Diera. With stuff that she might have been holding on for months too. The post where she name drops Diera, she says, Diera tried to have a threesome with me and my bitch. I should have known then, fraud ass bleep. This girl sweared a lot, y'all. When I was editing these videos, like, it took me a minute. And she says, imagine being friends with someone and they in your house, smiling in your face, hanging out, do all the things that friends do and whole time, bitch want what you have and end up with the person you was with. You gotta be a bold bitch to do some shit like that. LOL, you host tough. It's a cold world we live in. I know one thing, I'm a beat a bitch ass and that's a threat. I've been quiet too long. First thing a bitch wanna say, oh, we wasn't friends. LOL, I got a thread full of receipts. Let's get into it. I'll let y'all decide. Hiding because they know how it looks. Woman up, bitch. You was woman enough to smile on my face and whole time plotting on how you can get with my ex. I'm done playing nice. Then she did go on live explaining more of the situation and talking about how she's hurt, like she's been with Jazzy for seven years. She just wishes that both of them were honest with her. She also firstly says that Diera asked her for a hall pass to be with Jazzy, which I feel like is bold as fuck. Apparently she has a receipt, so we gonna see when these receipts drop. Which I feel like is why Diera might not be saying anything. Like Diera usually doesn't say anything, but she would definitely be poking a wasp nest if she were to say something that isn't true or triggers Ariel. But here are my clips of her live last night. Georgia, I think that's what they was on a beach or something. And motherfucker Diera is text me talking about some. Uh, can I get a hall pass? I'm like, what? The a hall pass to go lay in the bed with my girlfriend. I got proof, got messages, but we'll talk about that later. I'm gonna pull it out. And at the end of the day, if they're together, let them be together. I'm happy for you, but at the end of the day, I need everybody to know how much a fraud you is. Cause I never smile in the face and the whole time I want your motherfucking bitch, all your nigga. Like that's some whole shit. And the reason why I waited since y'all keep on asking me is because literally, clearly, I was blinded. I literally was blinded. I didn't want to believe it. Um, I believed my ex, which I shouldn't have because she was motherfucking lying the whole motherfucking time. And I just was blinded. Shit, I was in love. Like, I was with her for almost seven years. You know what I'm saying? I, I never thought in a million years that she would do some shit like that to me. So, and she did. And it's just up and everybody who in these comments and saying like, you know, why now or why I'm saying this and all that other shit, like I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I don't have no reason to fucking lie. We're not together. I don't wanna be with her. Like let's just make that clear. Cause this is literally just me just putting it out there like she a motherfucking fraud. And they walking all happy and shit, lollygagging and shit, trying to hide it. But I'm exposed to shit. They both frauds. My ex too, Diara and my ex. I feel like people never understand until they are in my shoes or in that person's shoes. You never really understand. Like I literally was with her for almost seven years. Like literally. 
And for her to just wake up one day and be like, oh, this ain't it. Nah, bitch. You fucking with somebody else. And it so happened to be Dara ass. Somebody who was smiling all in my motherfucking face. In my motherfucking house. We having parties together. Hanging out, going out to eat, doing all kinds of shit. And the thing about it is, I just felt like my girlfriend could have... I don't respect this situation way more if she would have just kept it 100 with me. But instead, instead she had me motherfucking looking crazy, looking stupid. When she could have just been like, you know, I fucked up. I fell in love with somebody else. Or I wanted to be with somebody. Then there's another quick clip that I got from Voice for the People Reacts. Shout out to them. And she's saying that her and Dierra stopped being friends literally the day after her and Jazzy broke up. They were supposed to go out and get their nails done, but Dierra never came through. She said she had to reschedule, and that was the last time they ever, like, we're gonna make plans or go out together. She said she believes this happened back in March. Then the thing about it is, so me and my ex, we broke up, May 2. Me and Dierra were supposed to go get our nails done the next day, right? I texted the bitch and I was like, we still going to our nails done? Oh, I got something to do. I'm about to uh, reschedule. Ain't heard from her since. <laughs> so it's like, why you had to stop being friends with me? Because me and my girl broke up. All this shit just adding up. Clearly, they must have started dating. Clearly, months before. Because you know what's crazy, y'all? Like, I had, when I look back on shit, like, I'm just like, damn. I had all the red flags, all the motherfucking signs. Like, all kind of shit. When I just look back, sit and just be thinking, like, damn. This is why she did this, this and that. You know what I'm saying? So, this probably happened in motherfucking March. Honestly, that is hella grimy, especially if that is your friend and you know that your friend just got through a breakup. Now, of course, shit happens and people have to reschedule, but that Diera allegedly never contacted her after that is definitely suspect. Ariel said that they broke up in March, and in March, Diera and Ken officially bought their land. I'm waiting to see what they're gonna actually do with the land, because if it's just something else for their business, then maybe at this point, if Dierra was really with Jazzy and they were broken up, which again, you should know at this point, like they definitely broke up before they posted that video back in August. It just makes me wonder if one, did Dierra cheat on Ken or two, did they already know that they was over with? I also found some quotes from Dierra at the end of April and she said, some things you just keep to yourself. Sneaky link and I want what I want and I get what I want. Now, honestly, y'all, honestly and low-key, I just always had a feeling about Diera In terms of, like, her just not being fully authentic. I already stated, like, in their breakup video where they never even really said that they broke up. You had supporters of seven years and you're still not real with them. That's why she's way too business-oriented and she's not straight up with her supporters. And it's like, y'all, like... If you literally are the reasons why I don't have to go to school, I don't have to have a job, like I'm living my best life, millions in my account. M's in my bank account, say what? In my bank account. Then like, I'm gonna be forever grateful for y'all. Even though like, I obviously can't let y'all into my lives 100%, like, I'm gonna be real with y'all as much as I can and as much as I put out there. Like, I put out my whole relationship for seven years be real you know what i mean and i just don't get that vibe from her as much as people get that vibe from her like oh she's cool she's genuine she's unbothered like i think there's more to diera than she's letting out but so honestly this wouldn't surprise me if this was true i don't know if i would go as far to say that diera cheated on ken but i honestly feel like their relationship was on the rocks like i said before before they even broke up officially and in her true for drink video she said that the cheating wasn't a deal breaker maybe it wasn't a deal breaker because she was doing you know <laughs> now this is the full timeline of what happened maybe this will all make more sense but it, something's not right something's not adding up for sure something is not mapping but y'all, that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment out what you guys think below. Do you guys believe in Ariel's story? Do you guys think that Diera is really with Jazzy? Do you guys think that Diera cheated on Ken? Comment out what you guys think below. Find me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat at Chrissy Talks and HR Chrissy. On my Instagram, you will get access to this information quick. So follow my Instagram for daily entertainment and daily news content. And um, I love and appreciate you guys. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. She the girl, she the girl, she the girl